Our next guest, David Limbrick, has been a Liberal Democratic Party member of the Victorian Legislative Council since 2018, representing the southeastern metropolitan region. He has recently become quite concerned about the Falun Gong and the ABC. The Falun Gong, you will know, you often see them outside, uh, demonstrating outside Chinese embassies and elsewhere, a small religious sect, which uh, David will tell us about. Um, but what are the ABC doing peddling Chinese Communist Party propaganda? Welcome to Outsiders, David. How are you? Good, thanks. Now, talk us through your concerns with your constituents and in the broader issue of what the ABC are doing, uh, basically demonising Falun Gong. Yeah, so last week uh, on Foreign Correspondent, they did an uh, expose on Falun Gong. Now, let's, let's keep in mind that this is a group of people who are currently being persecuted in China. They're being imprisoned. All sorts of awful things have been happening there for decades. Many of them have come to Australia because of our uh, freedom of religion to escape this persecution. And many of them <clears throat> live in my uh, southeast uh, metro electorate. And I've met with these people and, and that's fine. But then what they showed on ABC is really, I mean, if you look at the content of what they had in this report, it's things like oh, the next door neighbours at one of their complexes in, in America uh, had problems with their planning controls. Um, they have high security. Um, some girl was told that she was fat by a teacher and they claim that she got anorexia. And like most of these things that they raised were of very little substance at all. In fact, the biggest crime that they seem to have committed was that a, a lot of them seem to support Donald Trump. And and they went over and over and over this in the in the uh, in the foreign correspondent report on Wednesday. I'm very concerned about this because this report I've, I've had a translation sent to me from a Chinese state media news site. This report has already been used as justification for furthering their persecution in China. I mean, do we we have a situation here where Australian taxpayer dollars are being used to produce content that may be used to persecute people. So I've asked, I've sent a letter to the board of the ABC asking them to uh, see if this report has uh, breached their own guidelines, whether any information was actually passed to them from Chinese officials, and to look at, you know, is this really uh, something that they should be doing? I mean, a lot of these uh, issues that they brought up in the program were actually addressed by the Falun Dafa Information Centre and refuted, and apparently they were ignored. James. Um, and I'm wondering, what is it about Falun Gong or Falun Dafa that they find so triggering? I've, I see them around Sydney all the time, and they've got big signs against the Communist Party of China, which is understandable since the Communist Party of China has been persecuting them, even harvesting mm. their organs. But I note that the press release that the ABC put out about this show had at the very top a big quote from somebody saying that support for Donald Trump is in the actual, you know, doctrine and liturgy or whatever of Falun Gong. Is it because Falun Gong stands with Trump against China that they find so triggering? And do you find it a bit strange that our national broadcaster is being used to uh, use our tax dollars to run a line that's going so, uh, so along the same line as that of Beijing's? Yes, it's very concerning. I mean, Look, some of them do support Donald Trump, but as Falun Dafa said in their letter, um, they have a very wide, you know, wide membership with um, diverse political beliefs. Um, because the fact that some of them support Donald Trump, um, you know, shouldn't be surprising at all, really. I mean, if people, if people have fled persecution to America or Australia, and if they live in America, and uh, you know, if Donald Trump takes a hard stand against China, it sort of makes sense that they might be inclined to support him, but they don't all support him. They're not a homogenous group of people, and it's totally wrong to to characterise them as such. They're, they have diverse political beliefs, same as most other religious groups. David Limbrick, that's fantastic for bringing that to our attention. Uh, we'll keep a close eye on that. And uh, your Falun Gong constituents are lucky to have you out there on their behalf. Thanks so much for coming on Outsiders this morning. Thanks very much for having me.